Okay, welcome to the limiting reagent worksheet. Make sure you have a reference table and a calculator handy. So the first two were the ones from the notes, but we'll go over it anyways. So the first one is balanced chemical reaction. You have it. It says how many grams of NH3 can be produced from the reaction of 28 grams of nitrogen and 25 grams H2. Okay, so it's going to get a little tight, but we'll try. So we have 28 grams and two to start, and I will do this one first. So I've got to go from grams to moles. So N2, it's 14 is one nitrogen times two is 28. So we have one mole of N2. Now we need to go from moles of one thing to moles of another. So we multiply by the conversion factor, which is a coefficient of what we seek over what we know. So I seek NH3, so that's a two. I know that this is N2, so coefficient is one. So we have two moles of NH3. And then we need to multiply by the GFM of NH3. So nitrogen is 14, hydrogen is one, but there are three of them. So that's 17 grams per mole. And then you get 34 grams NH3. That's not necessarily our answer. So let's do the, the other one. So we also had 25 grams of H2, that's a two. Divide by GFM, which is two. So we have 12.5 moles H2. So we have a different conversion factor. We still seek NH3, but this time we started with hydrogen. So 12.5 times two divided by three is 8.33 repeating moles NH3 times the GFM, which is 17, and that's gonna give you 141.7 grams NH3. Only one of these is actually going to happen, and it's the one that's the smaller of the numbers. So the smaller number is the 34 grams NH3. This bottom one didn't actually happen. So I'm just gonna kinda of go, woo, don't destroy it, but it's not true because you were limited by how much you had. So the answer to this question is 34 grams in H3. Now, this tells me that the nitrogen is our limiting reagent. So limiting reagent, which means hydrogen is in excess, our excess reagent. So it says how much of the excess reagent is left over? Okay, so Again, see how I didn't want to totally destroy this? So I have the 28 grams of nitrogen. 28 equals one mole of N2. So let's compare the limiting to the excess. So now I seek how much hydrogen did I actually use? So we seek hydrogen this time, which is three, over nitrogen, which is one. So three moles hydrogen. GFM of H2 is two. So six grams of H2 was used in the reaction. So we had 25 grams total minus six grams used, which means we are left with 19 grams, which is in excess. Okay, here's our next one. We have magnesium plus 2-HCl yields magnesium chloride and H2. What volume of hydrogen and STP is produced from the reaction of 50 grams magnesium and 75 grams HCl? So we start with 50 grams magnesium and we need volume of hydrogen. So first we got to go to moles divided by GFM of magnesium, which is 24 which is 2.08 moles magnesium. Conversion factor, I seek hydrogen, I know magnesium, so the same mole hydrogen, and we need volume, 22.4, so that's gonna give us 44.6 liters of H2. Okay, let's compare it to the other one. We have 75 grams HCl 
divided by the GFM, 1 plus 35, so 36. And then we're going to get to, put, oh, look, the same thing. Doesn't mean we're going to get the same answer because our conversion factor will be different. I see hydrogen, but HCl is this, so 2. So that divides out and we get 1.04 moles of H2 times 22.4. And so we get 23.2 liters of H2. And you choose whoever's the smaller answer, which is this one, because the limiting reagent prevents you from making any more. So the H2, sorry, our HCl is our limiting reagent. The magnesium is an excess. So how much excess reagent in problem three is left over? So the excess reagent is magnesium. So we're gonna start with that HCl, the limiting reagent, to figure out how much we actually used. So we have 2.08 moles HCl. So now we're going to compare the limiting, which is HCl. Wait a second. No, we seek, I'm sorry, we seek magnesium. The limiting reagent is this. So we're going to have 1.08 moles of magnesium. And now let's multiply by the GFM of magnesium, which is 20, whoops, 24. And so that will give us a mass of 25.0 grams of magnesium used. That's not our final answer. So we had 50 grams total minus 25 grams used equals 25 grams excess. All right, so that actually was our final answer, but I just wanted to prove it to you. So that's our procedure. Okay, final one. Silver nitrate and sodium phosphate are reacted in equal amounts, 200 grams each. How many grams of silver phosphate are produced? So here we go, 200 grams silver nitrate go to moles. So the gram formula mass of that is 170 grams per mole. If you don't trust me, well, do it yourself, which you should be doing anyway. Um, moles of HeNO3. I seek silver phosphate, so that's a one. Silver nitrate is a three. So divide by three and you get 0 0.3921 moles of silver phosphate. Notice how I take the time to keep my units organized. Uh, the GFM of silver phosphate is 418. And when you multiply that, you get 164 grams AG3PO4. All right, the other way. So again, we have 200 grams, but this is of sodium phosphate, Na3PO4. Divide by the GFM of that, which is 164, and you get 1.2195 moles of sodium. Gosh, that's messy, sorry. 1.2195 moles of Na3PO4. I seek silver phosphate, so that's a one. Sodium phosphate has one. So it's 1.2195 moles of AG, uh, HE3PO4. Uh, then I multiply by the 418 and I get something much bigger, 509.75. Okay, so again, the actual answer is 164 because this bigger number will not exist. So that's not right. So then now that means that the silver nitrate is our limiting reagent and the sodium phosphate is our excess reagent. So it says how much of the excess reagent will be left. So again, we're gonna compare those two. So we have 200 grams AgNO3 divided by GFM to get 1.176 moles. So now we can talk to each other because we're in moles. Now I seek 
the grams of the excess reagent, which is the sodium phosphate. A one over three, and I get 0 0.3921 moles of Na3PO4. And the GFM of that was 164. And so now I get 64.3 grams Na3PO4. It's not my final answer. So then I say I had 200 grams total minus 64.3 grams used. So when you subtract, you get 135.7 grams excess, which I believe the book rounds to 136 grams excess. Okay, so this procedure is not found on the regents. Um, super important to know going forward in chemistry. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching.